What's good, BitRushers? My name is Kyler, and you're watching BitRush Crypto. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a new tool that I just started to use to help me find hidden gem NFT projects that I didn't otherwise know about. I'm going to be going over everything regarding how to use the tool and all of the features. So if you guys want to learn a little bit more, just stick around. Everyone who's new, go ahead and sub to the channel if you're not already. Make sure you pound the thumbs up on this video. You can find links in the description below for everything regarding my social media and this project. And here we go. Okay guys, navigate over to ic.tools and you'll find the tool that we're going to be reviewing today. And just another quick disclaimer, I'm not getting paid to review this. In fact, I'm paying them to use this tool. Uh, I found it of use. I tried it out for a few days and I thought I would share it with everyone. I definitely wouldn't mind a one year free subscription. So IC Tools, if you're out there watching, go ahead and hit me up. Okay, so over here on the main page, we can see that there's a trending collections list and we have several things that we can search by and we have several different time intervals that you're able to filter through you notice that 15 and 30 minute are crossed off because we're not logged in for the full premium version you can see they have floor price average volume sales and seven day Volume. So pretty good on trending and you can sort by any one of these things and just see what projects are trending by whatever you'd like to filter. So I actually do have the paid subscription. So let's go ahead and just log in real quick. It says you have premium and my membership expires October 26th. It does go by um, 30 days. So you do 0.03 Ethereum and it gets you a 30 day trial. If, if you enjoy it and you want to move forward from there, you can add six months for 0.15. I like that it's like a little bit of a subscription, but you're not stuck for a very long time. So you can get in and try it for 30 days, try it for 60 days. Um, try it for you know the full six months if you want to go up here and you're not committed to you know continue to pay every single month forever you not have to um, shell out like a large lump sum right out the gate uh, it's really good I think if you're gonna buy more than a couple nfts per month like if you buy more than like four or five nfts a month if you're searching for hot products if you're like any sort of investing in the NFT world, spending any sort of Ethereum, then the 0.03 for the month is going to be very minimum. That's less than like half of one mint, or it's basically like your gas fee on one mint. So um, very small fee, I think, um, you know, in the grand scheme of things. And then looking at, you know, going a little bit bigger, it's really not that much. You save like one month if you go to six months, but um, again, if you're going to be in this for the long haul, you might want to do the six month one. For me, I'm just doing 30 at a time. Okay, so now we have all of the features unlocked now that we are logged in. So let's just go to like 15 minute and let's see based on sales. I'm going to filter sales and now we can see in the past 15 minutes who has the most sales. So we can see uh, Arvorak Saga Universe, we have Mutant Pandas, we have Bad Kids Alley Official, we have Multiverse VM, we have Ether Gals, and it looks like I filtered it the wrong way, so there we go, sorry about that. So actually at the top here, that was the bottom of the list, um, we have Deep Sea Jelly, Crypto Chicks, um, Paladin Pandas, and The Heart Project. So all of these projects right here, the top five are the most trending products, um, most trending NFTs being bought within the past 15 minutes. So um, if you want to get in here and just see, you know, what's being sold, what's being bought really down um, to that level, you can. You can also widen it out a little bit and go to 30 minutes. And now we start to see things like Lo-Fi Kitties, um, again, Paladin Pandas in the Deep Sea. So those ones are all trending. We can move it out to like the hour, see if that changes it. We can go to 12 hour and see maybe, you know, since it's morning time for me, I was sleeping. So what happened while I was in bed sleeping for the past 12 hours? What's been selling? Here it is. I can see Lo-Fi Kitties have... Um, 1800 sales winter bears have 1400 bear market nft have 1320 so really great features guys and goes all the way out to um, one day and then three days 
you really don't need uh, more than three days if you're looking to like buy what's hot there is seven day charts on other places for free and things like that so uh, i'm not sure why they didn't just add it in here anyway but you really don't need it so next kind of cool thing you can do here is see like the trending um, floor price and maybe you want to see you know something that has a rising floor price and it does have the percentages so we could see this one's up 12 percent uh, creatures is up about 15 percent lazy lions up about um, 0.63 percent and that's in the past two hours right so we can also go the other way if we want to see things that are dropping maybe we think we're gonna like catch a dip on one of these projects that the floor price is dropping on we want to get back in like fangang it's down 16 percent Maybe I see that and I want to scoop up a few of these. Um, so lots of different ways that you guys can, you know, research all of these products. You can also click into any of them. So again, I'm going to go to the 15 minute. Let's just go to winter bears. So say we see this winter bears is selling. We want to know a little bit more about winter bears. We click onto them and they have their own page now. Okay. So we can get to their official website and get to their OpenSea, their Twitter, their discord, or ether scan for that product very quickly and easily so i really like to have all those quick links right here and then again we have five minute 15 minute 30 minute one hour charts and we have volume floor sales and sales you can track all of that here and then it has the actual volume listed and the floor price listed so if you want to track just one of these um you know nft projects at a time you can keep this page open and just kind of track where the floor price is what the sales are doing you can see on the one day or on the seven day again so it does let you get into a couple different levels here and it shows you um you know the volume with it so really detailed charts actually i think a little bit more detailed than you really need for nfts um, but for people that are super serious this is really great guys i've actually been enjoying um, researching products people have been popping links up in my telegram and discord and i'll go ahead and do a little bit of research on them see how many they're selling um, you know what the floor price is so it does give you that higher level advantage than just going on OpenSea or just on like you know one of the other um, listing websites that tells you a little bit of information on bought and sold this is going to give you like down to the detail level every single buy and sell being made on that chain and if we come down we can actually see that so if it's minting you can see mints or you can see all mints and orders if they're both going on at the same time if you just want to see sales it's literally tracking every single sale and then you can go into OpenSea and click on it and see you know who sold it where it went it tells you all the addresses and everything here too but you can look at their wallets and see what's in there um speaking of wallets there's another cool tool here where if we go to watch you can actually type in wallets and you know watch different people's wallets you can also watch collections so um, if you've loaded up different collections you want to watch it'll have all the sales and everything for here automatically in a nice list i've set that up already on my other pc but apparently it doesn't transfer over or whatever um, no big deal and in addition to this trending tab guys there's another cool tab right here which is called discover and discover is going to give you the top mint so if you want to find out what's minting right now the other one was kind of figure out what's selling and what's being traded and this takes it a step further and actually gives you like to the 15 minute level how many of each thing's been minted okay and then it gives you like the rank is it going up and down um, is it changing so i think that's really amazing this is actually one of the tools that i've been using to find the hidden gems right because not every project gets listed not every project gets shared in my telegram chat i don't know you know as much as i try to do my research i don't know every single project out there and i can tell you from launching my own product um crypto pumpkins go ahead and find the link in the description we launch next week but i can tell you guys it's hard to get out there in front of people um you know a lot of these websites that list they don't get back to you quick or if they get back to you at all um, a lot of different projects like they have super strict um you know requirements to get you on their youtube channel or whatever so it's just kind of hard for products to um get out there and advertise at the current moment in time that we are you have to get on twitter you have to get a good uh, discord following but sometimes you know even as like the buyer i don't find these products like i'm out here looking for these products and it's hard for me to find them so um you come over here and we can find what's minting right now so even if a product didn't get on our radar we missed it whatever 
if we're watching this and just kind of tracking it, you know, looking at it a couple times a day, we can see what's being minted every single day and how many of them are minting, how fast they're being minted. And then again, we can click into them and see all the information that we just saw in that last screen. So let's just like this one, the fitness squad. We just want to go over here. We can see 24 hours. They've only had 10 sales. The floor price is 0.03 and the volume is only a third of an ETH right now. So they're just getting going, right? But they do have 170 mints. So maybe I want to go over there and check them out and see what they're about before they start popping off. Again, guys, another tactic is going to be top buyers. So this tracks the top buyers in the industry, just whoever is purchasing the most NFTs. We can see right here a volume of 2.94 ETH on 32 buys. So whoever this wallet is just bought 32 NFTs for 3 ETH. So if we click into them, we can see um, all their different buys right here. We see it was a shared storefront, shared storefront. Then we got Ether Gals. Um, we got some Bitmade, some Sad Girls bars. So we can see all of the NFTs that they're actually purchasing. And then if we wanted to track this guy, we could um, put them in our tracking list and track them. So all the top wallets that you guys want, if you, you know, if you have certain people, celebrities or certain big whales that you like to track, you can do that nice and quick and easy. And then they also have this portfolio tab, which is really cool. And it shows you what that person owns in their wallet. Again, you can click into OpenSea and see the actual NFTs, but this just gives you like a numerical, like statisticians um, view of everything, like the symbol, um, the name, how many they own, the floor price, and like ETH total in it or whatever. And so that's really cool. I can see, okay, he's got seven lo fi kitties, or she, he or she, I don't know. Um, the League of Sacred Devils, they have six, they have six Ether Gals, they have two Sad Girls. They have two savage droids and they have five bitmates and it looks like that's all they have which is a little bit weird because um, they purchased all those rather quick right so it's, they had 23 um, purchases and they're probably not a whale because they only have three eth worth of nfts in their wallet and they made all of their purchases here really quick so we probably don't want to necessarily follow that person just because they're spending a lot but it does give you those details to look into them so I've gone ahead and added myself, my own wallet here into my watch list just so I can show you guys an example of that. So we look into mine, um, paperhands.eth here, and you guys can see uh, basically all the different purchases I've been making. If any of you guys want to track my stuff, you can come over here and do that. And you see we have the one day moon way. We have a couple cats here. We have some zombie toads. We have some street dogs, some wicked loot, some geomes, some doom souls army. Um, basically all the stuff I go over in my weekly videos, but it's really cool to be able to just track that and see that here if you guys want to follow along with me and what I'm doing. And we can also now see like my portfolio. I just opened this wallet literally like halfway through September because I was buying too many NFTs and I was like, I got to separate my, my NFT wallet from just like my normal collector, whatever wallet. So I opened up this one. I'm in 3.1 ETH. Um, ETH price right there and then it has the portfolio value so um, this is what my portfolio is valued at is only 10 grand so definitely not a Snoop Dogg whale at 17 million but I'm trying to get there guys um, if you guys want to help me out become an NFT whale make sure you smash the thumbs up on this video um, share it with all your friends on social media all that good stuff but um, moving along here you guys can see it's just really cool that you know it shows you how many we've owned how many the total eth is on each of these basically like the floor price and whatever and then kind of gives you an estimate value um, some of them don't have prices like these rareable ones if there's no like actual sales form and so it just kind of gives you i think like the base minimum prices on everything based on the floor value but either way a really cool feature and again, guys, at Discover, they don't just have the top buyers. If we come down, we also have the top sellers. So if you want to see what projects are getting dumped, we can also see that. And then again, I think I forgot to mention that in the actual page, but in the page here below all of the different transactions, if we scroll down far enough, it also has the top buyers and top sellers for each individual project. 
So if you know there's a wallet that's holding a good number of a project you're following, maybe you want to follow them, um, put them on your watch list and just see when they're dumping for what prices. Just a lot of different options here, guys. Um, this is just my overview of this tool, not just you know me actually using it. Maybe I'll do another video digging in and I'll show me actually using it and doing some research on a project or tracking a wallet and making some purchases based on those decisions, based on that information I'm getting. Um, however, for today, I think this was good, just a general overview for you guys. Again, um, I got into this just a few days ago here, and I've been using it. I'm really liking it, and, and that's the reason why I decided to share it with you. Definitely not a shill. Um, you know, I'm not getting paid by these guys. It's not an advertisement. I don't care if you use these guys or any other tool out there. Just wanted to share it with my community as I am finding use in it. I hope you guys did enjoy this content. If so, as always, smash that thumbs up, share it on social media, sub to the channel if you're not already. Happy crypto, and let's get that coin.